Seven and thirteen. Just wanted to do a quick update. Don't have a lot of time, but wanted to do an update and say hi to everyone. Um, kind of walk you through the beds. This bed's ready to be planted out. Just put some uh, leaf compost on it. This one has some garlic. We got some Swiss chard right here. Um, this actually is some kale. It's just coming up. Not very big, but uh, in a couple weeks it will be. And then over here, I had three rows of green beans, the first of the green beans. Something good with green beans is always to do a, what they call sowing in succession. So not putting all the seeds into the ground at once, but doing it every couple weeks. That way you always have beans that are coming into uh, maturity at different times uh, instead of everything at once and then it's all done. So just a little side note. Then we got a bunch of rows, if you can see it, of carrots here. These first four or five, six rows are all carrots coming up. We love carrots. And then we got a couple rows of uh, Boston Butterhead lettuce that's coming up. And then over here is a couple rows of pak choy. This bed will be actually changed out here in a couple weeks. I'm going to be actually interplanting. I'll be putting some tomatoes in there shortly. We have uh, these beds have all been turned over. You can see some green leaves in there. Those are actually seeds that sprouted. I put a bunch of compost that I had made from last year in there and there were some seeds that germinated so obviously it hadn't gotten quite hot enough. Uh, but that's all right. We'll uh, put the plants in and put a bunch of grass down on top of them and they should be fine. And then right now there's a couple rows of beets in there. For whatever reason this spring there was a real problem with getting stuff to germinate. But uh, I don't know, it shouldn't be a problem for this summer. But as far as the spring vegetables, they kind of gave a couple issues. And then over here, uh, this is the first, I'm going to do a couple videos on this. But we actually, for the first time, I started some plants from seeds. So even though these guys are teeny weeny, hopefully they will be big in a, uh, in a couple of months. Uh, these are all tomatoes, heirloom tomatoes that my mother and I started from seed. And uh, I'll give you a couple detailed videos will be coming talking to you about that and how we did it. And then in this and in these four pots over here, are all potatoes so I had some potato uh, starts that we uh, cut up put into different things dug it in and we should be good to go with uh, some potatoes coming on uh, and as I don't know if you guys remember but last year I think I grew a 2 by 10 foot bed of potatoes and got something in excess of 50 pounds of potatoes and then over here, real quick, I uh, just wanted to show you the rhubarb. Last year we had a pretty good drought. I lost one of the rhubarb plants and the other one is looking better than it ever has. So I may even be able to take some rhubarb off of this. It's having its best year, so hopefully that thing will get bigger and bigger and I'll be able to pull some rhubarb off of that. So, at any rate, that's an update. Welcome to 2013. Summer is here. It was about 90 degrees today here in the greater Chicago area and uh, I happy gardening and hope you guys are getting your gardens in talk to you later